your guidance, O Lord, in your word, for we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. The fourth trumpet is as explained in Revelation 8 and verse 12. It reads, Then the, four an the fourth angel sounded, and a third of the sun was struck, a third of the moon, and a third of the stars, so that a third of them were darkened. A third of the day did not shine, and likewise the night. The symbols that we deal with here are mainly four. The light, the darkness, the brightening of sun, moon, and stars, and the darkening of sun, moon, and stars. The light, according to the New Testament, we can find insights based on 2 Corinthians 4 and verse 4, 2 Corinthians 4 and verse 6, John 1 and verse 9, and John 8 verse 12. Out of this text, we find that the light is a representation of the gospel. It also points to the knowledge of God's glory and also to Jesus in both instances as a reference in the book of John. Darkness in the New Testament, we can find references in Matthew 4 and verse 16, John 3 and verse 19, Ephesians 6 and verse 12, and also Colossians 1 and verse 13. Darkness will represent, according to Matthew, the absence of the gospel, or in both cases, also in John 3 and 19, but in Ephesians and Colossians, darkness represents the spiritual forces of evil. The brightening of sun and moon also has another symbolism, which is found in Genesis 1, 14 to 18 and Isaiah 30 and verse 26. In this context, the sun and the moon and the stars are used as for signs. But specifically when you go to Isaiah, you realize when there is a brightening of the sun or of the moon, it's a symbol of God's blessings and God's healing upon people. But then on the other part, when you look at the darkening of the celestial lights, which will include the stars and the moon and the sun, you see that in Isaiah 13, in Ezekiel 32, and also in Joel chapter 2 and chapter 3 as well. The interpretation you get is in a, according to Isaiah, it represents God's punishment. But in Ezekiel 32, it's also pointing to God's destruction. According to Joel, you realize these are symbols of the day of the Lord to which many who have not been in a good standing with God are afraid and dreading that day of the Lord because according to that day, there's going to be a darkening of the celestial lights. Once again, dear friends, we are going to be talking about the interpretation of this in our worship service. Tomorrow.